Thank you for joining us for our second video in this workflow series. This video covers how to edit a workflow form and some of the things you need to look out for when making these changes. At any point in time, you can unpublish your workflow form in order to make small changes. To edit your workflow, click the Make Edits button from the Build page of your form. When you get to the editing step, you're presented with the option to either unpublish and edit or copy workflow form. Unpublishing your workflow will halt activity on your form so that you can make edits. If you need to make large scale changes to your form, we advise copying your form rather than unpublishing. In this case, we would only recommend unpublishing your workflow form if you want to make small copy changes, need to add a step at the end of the workflow, or don't have a lot of submissions. If you currently have in-progress workflow submissions, you'll be asked what you'd like to do with those submissions on the same page. You can either leave as is, or you can mark all of the submissions as complete. Marking all in-progress workflows as complete can help avoid missing data for in-progress workflows, especially if too much is altered on the form. Another option on this page is to generate an export of your submission data. Clicking on this option will conveniently export your submissions and make them available on the Submissions tab. You will also receive a download link via email. Once you've clicked on Unpublish and Exit, your workflow will be unpublished and you'll be free to make edits. When you're finished, you can publish your workflow again from the Workflow Editor. Please note that if you edit or delete an existing field, previously collected data will be affected. It's also worth mentioning that if you move any in-progress submissions to complete status, we do not force integrations to run in this scenario. You'll have to click into the individual submission and force run any integrations. That's it for editing a workflow form. For more information, you can always click on the eye icon on the top right corner here and either search for an article or get directly in contact with our support team. Thank you again for watching, and please be sure to check out our last video in this workflow series that covers how to configure workflow logic.